and here we've got a setup that's going to help us to understand just exactly how a conventional two-way lighting circuit actually operates. Yeah, so we're simulating the power supply here which would be the consumed unit in mm -hmm. the job we just looked at. We've got the first two-way switch, the second two-way switch mm -hmm. and the lamp and yep. then the returning path which is the neutral. When you look at these two-way switches just to avoid any confusion here this conductor that you can see here this represents the common terminal and then you've got L1 and L2, L1 and L2 and the common over on that side as well which then goes off and takes the switch live to the lamp. We've got the power supply connected so hopefully if I operate one of the switches it wouldn't matter which one I operate under two-way system it should bring on the lamp itself so if I operate this switch here we can see that the lamp is illuminated. Yeah, so what's happened is the conductor is now connected in the opposite position. So what's happening is the current can flow down uh, the permanent line onto the uh, common of this switch. It then flows across the switch contact and down this strapper here. So then the current can continue down here onto this switch passes through that contact onto the common terminal, which then connects the switched line conductor and operates the lamp and turns it on. If we look at what happens when we operate the other switch, Gary, what's going to happen when we operate that other one? It shouldn't matter which switch we choose, mm -hmm. but we're going to choose the first switch and we're going to throw it into a different position and we can see clearly that the lamp now has gone off. So again, you can see here that the electricity is flowing down this conductor here. It gets to the common, it goes on to the other strapper now, so it's continuing on to this strapper. And you can see that when it gets to this point, it can't jump the gap at this switch. The electricity is disconnected here and so there is no current flowing through the switch line to the lamp and hence the lamp has disconnected. So at this stage it wouldn't matter which one of the two-way switches I now operate, the lamp will come on and once the lamp is on it won't matter which one of the switches I operate and the lamp will go off. Exactly and you can see that this would be really effective, uh, we've, we've mentioned the analogy of a, a staircase in a domestic situation, perhaps here we're looking at a long corridor, maybe a large warehouse where we've got a door at either end and we want to be able to switch the lights on and off from either position. You can see it doesn't matter which switch we operate, in fact if we go back now and switch uh, this one over we can see now that the lamp is illuminated once more as the current flows down this strapper across the switch contact and onto the switch line so we could make these a lot lot longer have a switch at one end of a large corridor or a warehouse a switch at the other end and therefore we could operate the lights 